Next question, question 16. Let x be a pos positive integer such that 7x plus 96 is divisible by x. How many values of x are possible? So, uh, if 7x plus, sorry, 7x plus 96 is divisible by uh, x, that means let it will be of the form kx, k be any positive integer. So, it will be of this form. So, if you rearrange, we have, since 7x plus 96 is equal to k, k will be greater than 7, okay? Uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise, uh, the, um, x has to be negative. Since it is given x is a positive integer. So, uh, so if you rearrange, we have x into k minus 7 as 96. So, this is the condition that is given. So, the smallest value k can take from this equation is, uh, since x is a positive integer, uh, the smallest value k can take is k equal to uh, 8, greater than 8, greater than or equal to 8. This is the smallest value. So, when k equal to 8, x will be 96. Uh, so, the largest value x can take will be 96. So, for all other values, we can, we will be able to find k such that uh, if x is divisible by 96, we can find a value for k such that uh, this equation will be satisfied. So, from, uh, if you see 96 is nothing but, um, if you divide, uh, uh, if you divide by 3, we get uh, 32 into 3 or 32 is nothing but 8 into 4 into 3. So, so this whole 96 is 8 into 4 into 3 or if you again split, we get 1 into as product of prime numbers, we get 8 is 2 into 2 into 2, 4 is again 2 into 2 into 3. So, the possible values of x here is uh, x is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1, k minus 7 has to be 96. K, uh, for that, k minus 7 is equal to 96 means k is equal to 96 plus 7, uh, which is uh, 103. So, uh, sorry, k minus 7 is equal to uh, 96 means uh, 96 plus, sorry, k minus 7 equal to 96. So, 96 plus 7. Uh, yeah, 100 and, uh, 103. Uh, so, for k equal to 103 and x is equal to 1, this equation satisfies. Uh, so, for any value greater than x also, we can find k such that this equation satisfies. So, uh, x is equal to 1, 2, uh, 3 are the possible uh, values for x. Then, we can pick up any combinations like x is equal to 4, we can uh, two uh, two into two we can take so four we can take uh, if you take eight we can take sixteen we can take thirty two we can take uh, so two four eight sixteen thirty two we can take yeah now uh, we will see the combinations uh, four into three twelve we can have value for a four into three and 8 into 3, 24 we can have. So, that is, if x is equal to 24, what happens? Uh, we are taking uh, 8 into 3, right? So, 8, 2, 4, 8, 8 into 3. x is equal to this. So, k has to be this. k has to be, uh, k minus 7 has to be 2 into 4, 4. Uh, so, uh, when x is equal to 24, k, k minus 7 has to be 2 into 4, 4. So, or k equal to, 7 plus 4 which is 11. So, we will be able to find k equal to 11 as and we will be able to uh, satisfy this equation. So, 24 can be one case. Any combination we take, uh, we will find, we will be able to find k and this equation will satisfy. So, 8 into 4, 16 into 3 uh, will be uh, 16 into 3 is. So, and we already said the maximum value x can take will be 96 since uh, any value above 96 means k minus 7 has to be a fraction or a negative number. So, 
uh, sorry k minus 7 has to be a fraction for this equation to get satisfied so uh, um, uh, up to 96 uh, x can have values so 16 into 3 so 6 into 3 18 uh, 1 48 48 is a value we can have uh, and 32 into 3 is uh, 96 so now up to 96 we can have so these are the possible combinations if you see the total number of so we have uh, uh, we have wrote all the combinations right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 uh, Oh, did we miss out anything? One can be answered. Two can be answered. Three can be four. Four into two eight. Eight into sixteen. Sixteen into thirty-two. Three into two. Okay. Uh, three into two is a possible combination. Two. Uh, so three into two is also a possible combination. So three into two is six. So six, twelve, uh, twenty-four, forty-eight, ninety-six are combination that have three. So these are just product of multiples of two. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, eight, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten, eleven, twelve. So we got twelve combination. We these are the twelve possible possibilities of x. So our solution will be question sixteen, twelve. C twelve. These are the possible combinations. Basically, we we took all the possible combination out of this one into two into two into two. So these are just different combinations splitting this two into two groups so this is the logic so this is these are the possible combinations so this is the solution to question 16 c is the answer